But fuck that. Too many rounds, y'all ain't goofy for a long time. Fuck the preview. Let's let that be through. In 3D, too. So it's showtime. Ride up in a Mazda 6 trolling your shit. Going 20 miles an hour while I'm loading that clip. I see Mac and smash the gas till 100 is hit. Then downshift and make it rain while I Tokyo drift. I'm oh. Oh. What up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm by. So you checking in, man. Ill Mac vs. Aver dropped on King of the Dot. I said I would review this battle no matter what the outcome was. If you saw my prediction blog, you know I said I would be surprised if Ill Mac won. But if Verd was on his A game, he should win this battle. He definitely wasn't on his A game in this battle. Um, to be honest with you, man, I really haven't given Ill Mac a lot of credit. You know, when I first started Unbiased Review, I said he was overrated. Probably because I watched the Conceited battle, then the Hollow the Don battle, and then later on the Arsenal battle. And I was just like, yo, this dude isn't beating any smack rappers. But to be real with you, he does have a lot of good battles. His Thesaurus battle, his Bender battle, the Big K battle was dope. This particular battle was dope. But I gotta give Ill Mac his props, man. He definitely made me a believer over time. He was basically breaking verb down every round, hitting him with multis, hitting him with personals, hitting him with um, the smack angle, hitting him with the choking angle. Go ahead, say your Max nerd, that's word, but did I say you'll need a gleaming sword from Singapore and something about a fight scene in Thor? No, that's verb. Say you know Max nerd, that's word, but did I say I'm a lyrical whirlwind? No, that's verb. Better bring that hollowing SB standard back, verb, that Hitman last verse, yeah, that verb. Not that trash verse of disaster, cause that verb is a has been that crash burn. Facts oh. verb, you act like that weapon blow, but you can't let it go. It's the last word. Damn, verb, any last words? Shit, with Swave, you compare battle rap to a school, huh? I mean, you said no nerds at the cool table is rule one. Well, I'll be the nerd who ends up shooting the school up. Two, up. Oh. breaking them down round by round. I got them winning every round in this battle and I never thought I'd see the day that Verb actually got 3-0'd by Ilmac or actually even 3-0'd again. You know what I'm saying? I know Charlie Clips 3-0'd him but I never thought it'd come a day when I see Verb get 3-0'd and I was just having a conversation recently with this dude about Verb too. I was asking like was he the best dude in the Midwest as far as like you know ever you know what I'm saying was he the was he the best dude ever in the Midwest and it's like to see what he's been doing lately has been really disappointing man just very very disappointing I think I don't know if anybody else is saying it but I'm gonna say it I feel like Verb that he just don't care about battle rap no more every battle I guess I just say every battle outside of URL because I did think his goods battle was was a pretty good battle but it seemed like every battle outside of URL is just a check for him and I kind of noticed something different about him after he battled Adi Boom. He went on 15 Minutes of Fame and he said something about as whenever you have a one round battle, as long as you get through the round, you're good. Basically saying, if I can get through a one round battle with Adi Boom and don't choke, then I'm good. You got to think, a one round battle is always safe. It's always safe. All you have to do is get through your round and it becomes eliminated. Yeah, but from the battle, from the fan standpoint, my nigga, we don't want to see you one round. We want to see you maybe go back and forth. Yeah, and, and listen, that's why it's always safe. Because we know that y'all don't like it. So listen, let's just say for some magical reason, when you watch me, Adi Boom, he looks magically impressive and I look terrible. Doesn't matter. That wasn't the way Verb used to be. Verb used to be that dude where I don't care if it's one round or three rounds, I'm gonna kill you. And now it's just like, he's okay with a debatable with Adi Boom, or he's okay just getting through the round, whether it's good material or not good material. And I just don't like his demeanor. In the Ilmac battle, he's basically complaining about the time. Even during his first round, he's saying something like, I got 30 seconds left. Like, he's almost like counting the time that he has left in a battle. You know what I'm saying? It seems like his rounds are way shorter than they should be. I know this is probably two minute rounds, but they even seem shorter than two minutes. I could be wrong, but he's been, he's stopping himself before Organic and them are even stopping him. And it's just like, if you're going to take that approach, you battle Caustic and you had Shoddy Horror Bars, I know they switched to battle with like two weeks prep time you don't really have a lot of prep time for caustic but you can't battle this nigga basically took his entire first round for shoddy and try to use it against caustic and that shit was just lazy to be real with you he's all on facebook saying 
that he's going on these one round tours and if you want to book him now he's cheap or whatever i don't know if verb need the money i don't really know what's going on with verb but verb in my opinion don't care about battle rap outside of url he battles john john on summer madness 4 ironically that'll probably be a good verb you know what i'm saying he'll probably do good against john john but these other leagues they don't even need to waste their time booking verb because verb is just showing up he ain't spitting a second over what the time limit is and he might not even get to the time limit and his rounds aren't all that good and he's choking and i gotta blame king of the dot a little bit too to be real with you because i feel like they really shouldn't even been booking verb i mean when verb showed up the battle cost it with shoddy horror bars they should have not have brought him back for basically the battle ill mac and even in during the battle he's basically telling you you're only booking me because i'm a name you're only booking me for views you know what i'm saying i don't even really feel like he respecting king of the dot to keep it real with you a lot of these top tier battles on king of the dot i don't really feel like they even really care about the battle young ill and fresco arsenal and swave um big t and bender a verb and caustic a verb and ill mac you know, the list just goes on, man. When you look at a lot of these top tier battles, some of them put on good shows, but the majority of them, it just seemed like it's a paycheck to me. And that's one thing I feel like King of the Dot need to get away from. They need to really look at an individual and see whether or not it's really going to be a good fit for, for a particular battle because a lot of these dudes are just looking at it like it's a check. I talked to Big T. I asked him, I said, yo, why did you take Bender? He was like, yo, they just offered me Bender, but I never even heard of Bender before. I never watched, I never in my life watched a Bender battle battle so it's almost like they're not even really asking big t yo who do you think you have a good matchup with who would you like to battle it's almost like oh yo what you think about bender all right i battle but it's no history no nothing it's like apparently big t ain't ever even heard of bender i ain't gonna say it's impossible that he hasn't heard of bender but it's just like the first person they match you up with on king of the dot is the first time you ever heard of the dude i don't know man enough about that i got ill mac 3-0 that's where I got the battle. Shout out to the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter.